Well, hello there, my fellow lords and ladies, and welcome to another episode of Fairy Tales and Toga. And now, you guys have probably seen my recent Guess My Roleplay video, and this comment has got it right. Yes, today we are del telling the story of Sleeping Beauty, but the Disney version. We have posted a Sleeping Beauty story. Go to my Disney Princess playlist and you'll see it. It's in black and white, and it's also by the Grimm's fairy tale called Briar Rose. But we're going to be doing Disney's Sleeping Beauty. So I hope you guys enjoy, and let me know what other fairy tales you would like to see down below. We might be doing Snow White in the next one, or even Beauty and the Beast, or Princess and the Frog. But let us all know, and we'll try to get to your fairy tales as soon as possible. But without further ado, let's start off with Sleeping Beauty. Once upon a time, in a kingdom far away, there lived a good queen and a good king, who always wished to have a child. And one day they would soon have a little miracle to call their own. Now, one day, the news spread far and wide all over the kingdom that the king and queen gave birth to a beautiful baby princess. And her name was called Aurora, like the dawn. Hail to the princess! Hail to the princess! Hail to the princess Aurora! Hail to the princess! Long live the princess! Hail to the princess Aurora! Hail Aurora! Hail Aurora! Hail to the king! Hail to the queen, hail to the princess Aurora. And so that very evening, the king and queen had decided to host a royal ball for the birth of their baby princess Aurora. At the time, King Hubert and his son, Prince Philip, had came to see the baby princess. Well, isn't she just a beauty, isn't she? Why, yes, of course. I assume that our dear Philip would love to see the princess. Princess. Yes, my son, the princess. And soon it was time for the three good fairies to come and present their gifts to the dear princess. Now presenting Mistress Flora, Mistress Fauna, and Mistress Merryweather. Your Highness. Oh, why isn't she a doll? Just look at the beautiful angel. We have pre come presenting our gifts, Your Majesty. My dear precious princess, I give you the gift of beauty. One gift of beauty. La, 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 la. Dear sweet princess, I give you the gift of song, so that way you can sing whatever your heart desires. One gift, the gift of song, la 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 la. Geez, I don't know what to give the princess. You can do it, Merryweather. Yes, don't be shy. Oh, sweet princess, my gift to you is... <laughs> so, I see that we are having a party. And I wasn't invited to the baby shower? You weren't wanted. Me? Not wanted? Oh, please. <laughs> Maleficent was the mistress of all evil. No wonder why she wasn't invited. Well, Maleficent, now that you are here, why don't you come and present your gift to the princess? Oh, I have a pretty gift for her, all right. Listen well, all of you. The princess will one day grow up to have the gift of beauty and song and shall be loved by many. But hear this. On the night... Of her 16th birthday, 
The princess shall prick her finger on the spindle of a spinning wheel and die. <gasps> oh no! <gasps> My baby! You heartless monster! Guards, seize her! Oh, get your hands off me, boys! I won't be coming back later. Ha 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 ha! Dear fairies, is there any way that this can be undone? Oh, I know, Your Majesty. Maleficent is powerful far than any of us. We don't have enough power to undo her curse. Well, I haven't given my gift yet. Well, go on, Merryweather. You can do it. Don't be shy. Oh, dear sweet princess, I know that I cannot undo the terrible curse that Maleficent has put on you, but I can soften it. When the princess breaks her finger on the spindle of a spinning wheel, she will not die. Instead, she will fall into a deep sleep. And the only way she will awake a true love's kiss is when the spell shall break. One kiss of true love can break the evil spell of love. And so that very evening, the king did not want to take any chances with his daughter. And so that very night, the king forbidden all spinning wheels in the kingdom, and they were all to be collected to be burned and destroyed. Oh, this is just terrible! Why must Maleficent always have to ruin a good thing? Don't feel so bad. Here, come have a spot of tea with us. Why, this is just a bunch of nonsense. If it were left to us, you know what? I have a plan. Well, what is it? Well, it's. Oh, shh! Come with me this way. Even walls have ears. I'll turn the princess into a flower. Oh, that's great! And then a flower can't prick her finger. Yeah, that is until Maleficent sends one of her frosts. Oh,、uh, why, yes, and oh, oh my. Oh, Maleficent always ruins your pretty flowers. Well, what are we going to do now? Well, you know what? I have another idea. Turn around. Ding, ding. Oh, peasant women. Wait, you mean we can take care of the baby? Yes, but now remember, we cannot use any magic. We don't want Maleficent to know where we are. Okay then. But what are we gonna do without magic? We have never lived as mortals. We'll figure it out. Now, come on, we don't have much time. And so that very night, the king and queen bid goodbye to their dear daughter, and the three fairies took her deep into the night. They went to the cottage in the forest to raise the dear child, and they renamed her Briar Rose. <laughs>